Hi, the RV guy here, and behind me is the all new 2021 Heritage Glen 369. BL. And what that BL stands for is actually a bunk loft. This is technically a mid bunk floor plan, but of course you're going to have that bunk room and a loft up above. First thing I want to touch on, of course, is the overall length of this big fifth wheel here. We're looking at a pin to bumper length of 43 feet and a rough dry weight of about 12,000 pounds. So of course, with something like this, you're going to want to have that one ton truck and you'll be easily able to pull it into any campsite you like. So let's talk about some of the construction now with these Heritage Glens, starting with the front of the fifth wheel. So what you're gonna see on the front of this Heritage Glen is a full fiberglass front cap. Of course, your big benefits with something like this is it wraps around all four corners of the actual trailer wall, so it's keeping those main seals protected over the years of use and not allowing water in there uh, which can cause delamination and of course water damage. So this is a must have feature on your fifth wheel. Now, of course, as we work our way back, just behind our beautiful new truck here, you're gonna see it's got a front storage compartment which houses your dual battery setup and of course your spare tire in there too. <clears throat> now, while we were talking about uh, this front side of the trailer, there's a really cool feature that I wanted to touch on. For example, you can see there's a little control pad up here, and this is actually your controller for your auto leveling system. Now this Heritage Glen actually has a six point electric leveling system on here. So the beautiful thing is once you get it into your campsite, you walk over here, you push that auto level button, and it drops all four legs, or six legs, sorry, down and completely lifts your fifth wheel around until it finds that nice level point for you. So you're not having to do any setup at your campsite. It's a beautiful thing to have. Let's keep working our way down here. So in this compartment, you're going to see you have dual 30 pound propane tanks, pretty standard in a fifth wheel of this size. So again, it's a must have in here. And it's got the auto switch over for you too, so you're not having to come out here and worry about that. You just turn both bottles on and away you go. Um, right beside us here, this is going to be your one door into the pass through storage compartment. So like you can see, there's a big massive door on the other side there with a light and there is a battery disconnect switch over there too, which is very handy. So when you're done using your, your fifth wheel here, you don't necessarily have to pull those batteries out. You can just hit that switch and you're not going to have that power draw. Another big feature that you see inside of this compartment is of course your full docking station. This is great because you'll have all your cable and satellite hookups into here. You'll even have your outside shower. It's got a black tank flush, all your water connections too. And of course, this is gonna be where you can winterize also. And what Heritage Glen has done for you to make things super easy is they have the bypass valve right on here for you, another bypass. And this hose is actually just gonna go right down into your uh, uh, antifreeze jug and you can simply start flushing the lines in your trailer. So it's super easy to maintain this coach throughout the winter time on your own. But of course, if you're one that likes to take it in and make sure the professionals are doing it correctly, we would be happy to do it for you too um, at the dealership. Now, as we keep working our way through, a big feature that you do get is a 10 gallon quick recovery hot water tank. This again is gas and electric, and it's a lot larger than what you standardly see in the industry, which is a six gallon. So you have an extra four gallons of hot water here. This is great. You're never, you can take those long showers and yeah, you'll have that ease of mind, uh, peace of mind, I should say. Now, one of the things I wanna to touch on while we were talking briefly about construction there is Heritage Glen is a full six-sided aluminum framed, um, and this is a uh, vacuum bonded product too. So all your side walls, even your slide out walls here are built in that nice big vacuum press. So you have that block foam insulation in there with the true two inch wall. You're getting some really good insulation values out of this coach. Plus it's a lot lighter and very strong too. That's one of the things we love to display to a lot of our customers is when you come up beside a fifth wheel and you push on the slide outs, you feel that nice solid construction in here. Follow me down this way and we'll have a look at some other features. For example, you'll have your 50 amp cord here, which is a detachable power cord. Nice feature to have is you don't have to be worrying about stuffing that cord inside your trailer and leaving that big empty space in there, or of course, an easy entrance for rodents. Let's keep going. Now, as we work our way to the back, you'll notice on top of these slide outs, they have the, uh, the attachments for you if you wanted to add the uh, slide topper awnings on there too, so you're not having to worry about getting up there with a broom and sweeping things off. Um, and we can, of course, add that onto this particular fifth wheel at the dealership for you if you so choose. Now, 
right on the back side, you're gonna notice a couple of features here. You have a ladder to get easily up onto your roof so you can check out those roof seals um, or of course sweep off those slides if you don't wanna do those slide topper awnings. And then right beside that, you're gonna have a pre-wire for a backup camera. Really nice feature to have. We do carry them at Rangeland also so you can have something like that installed and have that good view back into your campsite right inside your truck. Now to finish it all off, you'll notice of course LED lighting all the way around the exterior here so you're not worrying about burning out those incandescent bulbs. And then down on the bottom, you actually have a two inch receiver here. This works great if you have a bike rack um, or if you have a storage rack that may you wanna add to the back of your fifth wheel here. It carries a, an extra 300 pounds also. So it's great if you wanna put a heavy generator on there, you know, a heavier bike rack or some firewood, coolers, you name it, just giving you that much more storage. Let's work our way over to the front side here and talk about some real cool features before we head in. Now one of the really nice things that you gain out of this particular floor plan with Heritage Glen is it has a dual awning setup because of course this does have a slide out that comes into your campsite which most of the time will eat up some awning space, not the case with this fifth wheel. Like you can see, awning here and a massive awning here. So the entire side of the trailer is covered in awnings so you're gonna get lots of uh, shade here. Of course, you're gonna have coverage from the rain and they're full power so you just push a button, they're easy to bring out and they got the nice LED white light underneath it there to help clean the look up and give you some illumina illumination into your campsite. Now, looking at the entry door here, a nice little touch that Heritage Glen does too is they give you this big oversized grab handle. So you have that support going up these really nice more ride steps too. And again, like you've maybe seen on a bunch of our other videos, these more ride steps are great because they simply flip right up inside your fifth wheel and lock into place. So you're not dealing with those old style steps that essentially are hidden underneath, getting full of gravel, full of dirt, and they're very hard to use and start to rust out over the years. Of course, if you're on that uneven ground too, once you go to set these steps up, they actually have an adjustment here for the legs on either side, so you can easily stabilize those steps on that uneven ground and have that sturdy entry inside of your trailer. Now, let's keep moving on here. What you're gonna see is another storage compartment and what we're talking about these storage compartments too, they got a nice thick door to them which is insulated and they even have the metal slam latch baggage doors on here. These are great because of course they're individually keyed plus it's a nice easy system to use. You can do it with one hand, they're a lot more durable than the twist locks that you've seen so it's a great little touch. On the inside here they even have some really cool stuff. It may look like a storage compartment but just around the corner you actually have a little mini fridge in here too. So of course you're not having to run inside to grab snacks or beverages. They actually have an outlet in here. So if you wanted to set up that margarita maker or something else, you know you have that space to do so. And then of course this is your other entrance into your pass-through storage compartment. Just above that, you'll notice they give you actually for your storage doors, these little magnetic catches here. These are great because it keeps you from breaking off those plastic ones over the years of use. And then in between that, you have an outside TV bracket here too. So if you wanna set the TV up outside, watch the game on, right beside the campfire, you can easily do that. Um, you'll have your outside speakers also right here, which will tie into your TV for you. And they're beautifully backlit with these nice blue LEDs. So it really gives you that nice modern look to your trailer. Let's head inside now and we'll talk about some of the really cool features. <clears throat> So first thing I wanna to touch on when you're coming inside this fifth wheel is the control panel here. So of course, you're gonna have the LCI One Control, which is a great system that runs all your components for you. And then just below that, you're gonna have your other control panel here, which like you can see has uh, your tank heaters on here. So what, uh, what Heritage Glen does for you is they completely enclose their underbellies with a really unique system. I believe this actually has the road armor um, underbelly on it. So it's got that plastic underlay that keeps things nice and intact and it's easy to service. Plus what they do on those tanks, of course they're insulated, but they even put 12 volt heat pads on there for you. So over the years of camping, if you wanna go into that shoulder season, early spring, late fall, you're fully capable to do so. Now follow me in here, let's start with the kitchen because this particular floor plan has an amazing kitchen. For an example, you can see you have this beautiful island with some extra counter space here too so you have plenty of prep room. And then even on beside the uh, stove here, one of the things I like to point out is lots of times they usually bring this wall right up to the stove so you have no prep space beside, beside you when you're cooking, not the case here. Of course with your stove, you'll have the three burner cooktop here with the Furion top. They give you these really nice LED lights again to clean up that look. And of course you'll have the glass front oven and they even give you a nice big pots and pans drawer underneath here too. 
Now, while we're talking about drawers, one of the really nice things that I like to point out, for example, if you look at this one or the last one, it's all plywood on the inside here, so they're very durable. And then, of course, on either side, you're going to have these full ball bearing extension drawer glides, so you're able to use the entire uh, space inside this drawer. A nice little touch that they also do on their cabinets is you'll notice this is a hidden hinge style construction, so it's a very nice residential finish to it. And they're soft closing too, so it gives you that really nice uh, residential feel inside this beautiful fifth wheel. Looking at the island here, you have a nice big tub stainless sink, and of course they give you that beautiful black stainless uh, pull down faucet. One of the things I like about having a tub sink too is lots of times you see a split, but quite honestly they're very small so you can't really use them. For example, if you were to take this here, you can easily put it in that sink and submerge it. You're going to have plenty of room to do your dishes. Beside me, you're gonna have a 12 cubic foot gas and electric Dometic fridge. These are amazing because they give you plenty of uh, fridge space and plenty of freezer space on either side. And of course, if you're that type that likes to go out into the middle of the bush and dry camp, being that this is gas and electric, you can either run it while the trailer's plugged in or rate right off a of propane for you. Now finishing up in the kitchen here, one of the really, really nice touches that they've given you is you'll have a beautiful uh, storage area up top here which works great for big appliances or even you know bottles of wine and things like that. And then just underneath this, you actually have a French door pantry. And they got the glass inlays in here, they got the magnetic catches. This is actually a motion sensor light that they have too. So when we open these doors up, that light will come on for you. And there's plenty of storage space. And they even add in a little drawer here for you too. So some really nice, well thought out touches that you see in this particular brand. Now, let's move into the living room here and look at your entertainment space. Of course, you're gonna have a beautiful spot for a large TV. Just underneath that, of course, you're gonna have your Jensen stereo system here. This is a DVD CD player. You'll even have the uh, USB inlet there too. And of course, it's AM, FM, and Bluetooth. And this operates your inside speakers and your outside speakers for you too. Just underneath that, some more storage space here, which is great, especially if you wanted to put like a receiver in here or an Xbox or whatever it may be. And then below that, you're gonna have your beautiful graystone fireplace. Now this is awesome. I actually have this running right now and it's blowing out quite a bit of heat. And these put out about 5,100 BTUs of electric dry heat. That'll heat up to 400 square feet of your trailer in about 15 minutes. So it's awesome. You can have that furnace going and this and your trailer's gonna warm up that much quicker. Now, as we look towards the back here, you'll see you have these big panoramic views all the way around. And one of the things that I like to point out too is with their windows, they actually give you the beautiful roll down, uh, pull down roller shades. So these are great, of course, they're slow release too. So as soon as you let them go, they're not gonna wind up on themselves or anything like that. It's a nice slow release. And then of course, they give you the full valences around either side so you can easily block out that light. Just below us here, you're going to have this nice trifold sofa, so this will make out into a bed, and then some additional storage up above too. Now, right above my head, you also see you have a ceiling fan, a great little touch, and just above that too, you're going to have one of your air conditioners. Now, this fifth wheel is actually fitted with two air conditioners, and they're both on their own thermostats, so you can, you can control the climate in either end of your fifth wheel, which is a great touch. As we look over here, you're going to see, of course, your th uh, theater seating. And I should mention, this is all Thomas Paine collection RV furniture too. So it's uh, very well appointed. Of course, you're going to have the LED light up cup holders, which are beautiful. Just inside here, you're going to have a little snack spot, if you will. And then even some USB chargers for some phones. One of the things I like to point out with this particular floor plan is you notice the windows start here and they finish over here. So you're going to have that full panoramic view into your campsite and not necessarily on the opposing side of your campsite looking into your neighbors. It's a big request that we have from a lot of clients. So this is maybe that fifth wheel that you've been looking for. Right behind me, of course, you're gonna have your dinette here. And one of the things I like to touch on, which I missed in the kitchen here, is the actual uh, fit and finish of the tabletops and your countertops. This is that nice seamless pressed membrane that you're gonna see throughout the entire coach. So it's not gonna peel up on you over the years of use like those uh, cheaper T molds that you may have seen um, in other trailers. Now this will make down into a bed very easily for you. You just simply remove the top and set it down into place. And then even on either side, you're gonna have these really nice cabinet doors so you can easily get inside here and access all the storage underneath both sides of this dinette. That pretty much wraps up the main area. Let's go and have a look um, into the bunk room now. 
So mid bunk fifth wheels have kind of dominated the uh, the fifth wheel market. It seems to be the most popular floor plan out of every selling fifth wheel in our industry. And like you can see, Heritage Glen has done a great job on this one. For example, right behind me, you're actually gonna have a, a nice uh, sofa here with the flip down cup holders in the middle. Plus you can easily break this down into your bunk bed and they even give you some extra storage underneath here too. So they're utilizing all of that storage space. The top bunk is very easy to set up. We simply just release the pins on either side here. And of course, boom, there, now you have a bunk. There's gonna be a window above it too with a nice pull down blackout shade. And of course, this window is gonna open even though it's a safety exit for you. <clears throat> As we look at the opposite side of the uh, bunk room here, you're gonna notice you actually have a heat duct that comes into here. And then of course, a huge storage spot for all your hanging clothes, or what it may be for jackets too. So this could even work as a little uh, as a little boot room for you if you wanted to um, coming in the front door. Some extra drawer space underneath here too, which are very deep again with that full ball bearing extension drawer glides. And then another spot for maybe even a small TV, or if you'd like, this doesn't have a bottom to it. So if you wanna pull a chair up to here and use it as a desk, you can easily turn this into your little computer room slash office, whatever you like. Let's head upstairs now. So this is one of the big features that you get out of having a mid bunk fifth wheel. You're not losing that massive rear living space that you love to have in a fifth wheel like this and you're also gaining a lot of bunk space. So for example, this is that nice bunk loft that you see there. It's got some storage in the end of it. You'll also have an air conditioning duct up there and a window with a full blackout shade too. So your guests are always comfortable sleeping up here. There's an easy pull out ladder for you also. So it's nicely tucked away when you're not using the bunk. But of course to set it up, it's a simple lift and pull. Just like that. <clears throat> now as we work our way towards the front, I'll, uh, I'll head into the bedroom here and I'll let you guys come through into the bathroom. And you can see a lot of the touches inside that bathroom are very, very well appointed. So first thing you'll notice coming into the bathroom, you have a foot flush toilet, but that's actually a porcelain toilet now too. So it's gonna be very easy to keep clean. And of course it's gonna last the full life of the trailer. You're gonna have plenty of storage in behind the shower there. And one of the beautiful things with how they've set up this bathroom is you're gonna have this nice sliding glass door shower. It's got the skylight in there too for some extra headroom. You also have a seat in there for you. So it's a very spacious and usable shower. Looking at the vanity here, of course, again, you have that nice seamless countertop. You're gonna have the deep medicine cabinet up above here with the nice soft clothes, and then even a stainless steel sink. This is a nice feature to have because of course, generally you see a shallow plastic one. This of course is not the case. It's gonna be easier to keep clean and again, last that full life of the coach. And of course, to finish it all off, they give you the switch in the wall here for your fantastic fan just above your head. Follow me into the bedroom now. So one of the things that I really like about this particular floor plan with Heritage Glen is first of all, take note of all the little details that they've done. Lots of times you just see a straight across mirror here. They give you that really nice barn door look on your closet. You have a king bed here in the slide out for you with a nice comfortable mattress. And then in behind me, you're gonna see this door swings open. You're gonna have a nice big hanging bar and they even stretch it out deeper to give you some more storage. And then on the opposite side of us here, you'll have your washer and dryer prep. And what they've done here that's very smart is they've actually recessed this back into the, uh, the front cap. And what you can do is a full stackable washer dryer in here too. So it's a little bit nicer than having to just settle with one of those uh, single all-in-one units. They also have a pre-wire prep for a King Wi-Fi system if you so choose to do um, inside this fifth wheel and we can easily set you up with that. Another little touch, they give you a little bench in here too. So in the morning when you can sit down, put your socks on, things like that. Of course, it's got a TV backer up above your dresser here and the dresser is really nice and deep also. And then yeah, you can mount your TV here, have your own little private space. They got little uh, um, night tables on either side of the bed so you can put your phones there. Of course, dual opposing windows so you can get that nice cross breeze in here. So it's, yeah, it's a very well appointed bedroom. Let's go down into the main area and we'll, uh, we'll finish up. One of the things I like to touch on too is for Heritage Glen, they're probably one of our most 
modernized interiors that you can get. So they have that really nice looking, um, I think this is called a shiplap style linoleum look to it. Of course, into the ceiling, you have these really beautiful chandeliers here, and they actually do a wood bracing across the roof material. So you're not seeing that cheap plastic stuff that ends up coming off, or even just the, the seam tape, which of course always comes off. And they even trim the wood around the edges. So it's a very well appointed trailer. The fit and finish is great, and you should see the price point on one of these things. You know, thanks again for watching, guys. If you do have any questions, make sure you reach out to us. Again, I'm Ty the RV Guy. Give me a call. Ask me about these RV show pricing that we have on right now. And thanks again for watching. Happy camping.